Hey guys, this is Dr. James Lee at Lee Physical Therapy. I've known James for a while now and uh, he's been helping me when I have like aches and pains and um, and then recently helping me kind of finish kind of my last bit of healing on my elbow. James is going to talk to me about like other ways I can heal and just kind of the tips and tricks behind kind of finalizing the healing process because tendons are really kind of finicky things. Yeah, so James, why do you like specifically like target climbing audiences? Uh, is well, it your passion or? I started uh, climbing when I was actually in physical therapy school and um, it's one of my great passions in life and very fortunate to be able to uh, have my job and my passion both come together. And so that's one main reason why I want to target climbers. And uh, do you think it's important that if people have climbing related injuries they try to find some of the climbing background or do you feel like yeah, they need the help in me? Um, I think there's a lot of frustration that tends to happen when people ask their doctors uh, what what they should do and a lot of times they're told that they should just take a break or take a rest for six weeks or whatnot and there's not as much uh, specific guidance on that because mainly due to the fact that they're not well knowledge well versed or well knowledgeable about climbing itself and so uh, there's a, a good advantage to be a physical therapist and climbing at the same time so yeah for sure but yeah so we're gonna try to cut it up so it's like a nice and short video for you guys to watch and maybe so you guys can take some of this knowledge and um, use it and otherwise come find James he'll be around you'll see him climbing if you have issues he'll definitely help you out he's an awesome awesome physical therapist so. Yeah, so I'll be like this, and then they tell you, like, keep the thumb here, and then I'll go slowly lower it. Good. And then I use the other hand to bring it up, and then I go slowly lower it. And I do about 25 pounds. Okay. Um, and I guess all that's left is, like, when I, like, twist it in, I can still feel it kind of, like, deep, like, way in there. Okay, so you were, I know you were explaining to me before that when you, were, when you were making a fist and you were turning in, that initially that, that was hurting a lot. I was looking for to find if it was healing. Yeah, yeah. it was painful before. Yeah. But now that you're getting a little bit better, a little stronger with with these exercises, that does that still hurt anymore? No. I'm doing that. Okay. Yeah. So that feels better. Yeah. Now you but you still have this little residual pain that you're feeling. Yeah. When I twist in, like that. and so that's whenever you feel this way, and then yeah. are you apply the pressure into the chest. Yeah, I'm pushing in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, it's more sure when I press like that versus push like that. Yeah. I press in like that. Yeah. Here. Good. You so, like you know, a lot of times, obviously with climbing, we're grabbing holds, right? And so your fingers are always curled in like yeah. this and whatnot. And that's going to be very specific because climbing itself doesn't cause your muscles to like necessarily contract and um, concentrically or eccentrically contract. A lot of gripping is very isometric and what isometric means is that the muscle instead of lengthening and shortening as you're contracting that muscle it pretty much stays at a very specific length right and so we build up that strength purely within that specific grip type and so those muscles are very strong there yeah um, another thing is as you flex and extend your fingers you have two primary muscles that you're you're using for gripping, right? Your flexor digitorum superficialis and your flexor digitorum profundus. And those muscles, all the flexor muscles attach into here. But you also have your uh, flexor carpi, ulnaris, and radialis muscles. And those actually uh, start here and it, and it inserts into the medial uh, epicondyle and it also in uh, inserts into your carpal bones right here. So instead, when you're opening and closing your fingers like this, you're not really activating those muscles. And sometimes those muscles can also get neglected um, when you're climbing. So you're overutilizing your uh, finger strength muscles, but you're not utilizing as much of the wrist flexors. And so that's one reason why you, when you're opening up your fingers like this, and you apply that pressure here, and you're pushing into your chest, you're activating a little bit more of those uh, flexor carpi 
muscles, right? And so a good way to strengthen those muscles uh, is finding ways where you can keep your wrist a little bit more open like this. And so initially you in it had pain with fully closing your, your fist and making the, yeah holding it there. But with that, you're utilizing those finger strength muscles, right? Mm -hmm. But now let's try opening up your hand and then holding it right here and don't let me move you here, resist. Any pain with this? Uh, I feel it just slightly. Start to feel that. And yeah. so the reason that happens is we're almost trying to negate the fingers and we're start trying to get some more activation uh, in those yeah. other muscles. And that's where you have to start building up that strength. Yeah. And so one exercise that I really like doing is go ahead you're going to slightly flex your wrist here and then slightly curl your fingers in. But hold that there and resist. And now here I want you to just bend the elbow in and constantly be resisting me here. And straighten it out. When you fully straighten it out, don't let me pull you here, resist. Resist, resist, good. Now bend that elbow in, keep resisting. Oh wow, yeah, I feel that. Feel that tension there. So that's going to start utilizing more of the flexor carpi ulnaris, uh, flexor carpi radialis muscles. So a good way to do this on your own is, you know, when I'm not here. So a good way to do that is you can either find like a small wooden board or a yoga uh, block. Yeah. Keep your fingers applying that resistance there. Yeah. And then now add a little resistance band. So from here, yeah. you're gonna hold it there. Now try curling, bend your elbow in and out like that. Go straight out all the way. How's that feel? Yeah, it's good. So at that point, you're really trying to And whenever work. I come in here, that's when I'm feeling it. Exactly, yeah. so you're working that elbow within the range, and you're also allowing those other muscles to start developing that strength. You should be holding it at any form of extension for a second. Uh, when you feel that pain a little bit more, that's a good spot to actually hold and allow to yeah. develop some, some of that tolerance to that, yeah. that angle and go back and forth like that. Now maybe you just do like 10 or 20 of these okay. where you feel that spot, hold it for a good 5 seconds yeah. and go back and forth. So you're definitely going to feel a little bit sore there, but if you're working on this on a consistent basis, I would say before you start climbing, you can do wrap up 20 of these just to help warm up those muscles and then even after your climb just do another 20 reps and on, on a regular basis uh, tendons actually take a lot longer to build up its strength and um, tolerate the loads that climbing actually uh, involves in applying stress to those tendons you know we typically think that muscle strengthening you know, if you have an exercise regimen and you're strengthening, you know, certain muscles, it takes roughly around six to eight weeks for your muscles to get stronger. Um, but translate that to ligaments and connective tissues, those actually will take a lot longer to um, catch up to the muscle strength. So even though you're strong enough to do certain boulder routes or certain climbs, your tendons are gonna actually take on a lot more stress and it, it'll take a lot longer for it, for it to heal. Climbing, a lot of times people wanna rest, but with tendons, they thrive on load. And it's a matter of grading that load to a resistance level where it'll tolerate it and then slowly start building on top of that. Right? So that's a little tricky. It, you might find sometimes where you you know you're climbing really hard and then the next day it's just, your tendons just flare up and you have to play around with that you have to sort of step back not climb as hard but climb on a regular basis and allow that tendon to start adapting to those levels of stress so you also have the pronator teres which is another muscle here that cuts across and it attaches to the inside here and to actually activate that you want to think about keeping the elbow crease pointed straight up towards the ceiling, full extension of the elbow, right? And then full extension of the wrist. And I want you to turn in here, 
maintaining that elbow crease pointing up towards the ceiling. Yeah. So what that does is it locks your shoulder so that you're externally rotated with that shoulder. And as you turn in and extend the wrist, mm -hmm. keep that elbow extended, yeah. hold it right there and now don't let me move you here, resist. Mm -hmm. Any pain with that? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and so that is gonna be focusing primarily on that pronator teres. So good exercise now, since we know that that's a little bit on the tender side, is the resistance band is gonna be going away from you here, laterally. Make sure that you maintain the elbow crease pointed up towards the ceiling. Yeah. Full extension of the wrist, and then just turn all the way here. Turn it right there and hold it there for about five seconds. One and then release. Let's try doing ten of those. Yes, yeah. like that. Well, thanks for all the help. I'm really sure. excited to heal up. But yeah, hopefully you guys all got something out of this. Definitely gonna see James more in the future, I'm sure, in the Midwest climber stuff. But um, excited to heal up. Hopefully you all will take some of these exercises, do them yourself and find James and work with him, he's awesome. Keep climbing, stay healed, stay injury free, and I'll see you all soon.